What's going on? I'm Ricky Riley, and today we're going to review what might just be the most rare PV amp in the world, the TransTube 100 EFX HD. Now, I know that's a pretty bold claim, and a lot of people consider the Rockmaster to be the most rare PV amp, but for what it's worth, right now at the time of filming this video, there are not one but two Rockmasters available on Reverb that you can buy if you have the money. This amp, on the other hand, is almost impossible to find. Right now, at the time of filming, there are zero on Reverb, zero on eBay, zero on OfferUp, zero on Facebook Marketplace, zero on Guitar Center's website, Musician's Friend, Sweetwater, etc. I have been looking for this amp for years, and by some strange twist of fate, I managed to find one on the Goodwill's website. So that begs the question, why is this amp so rare? If I'm being honest, I don't really know, but I do have some theories. First off, this amp came out in 2003, and I don't know about you, but everyone I knew, myself included, had tube amp fever in 2003. Unless it was a dual rectifier, or a XXX, or a 5150, we didn't take it seriously. Had to have tubes. So I imagine they probably didn't sell a ton of these, and because they didn't sell well, they probably didn't make a ton of them. Secondly, this amp came out right around the same time as PV's XXL, which was another solid state offering. And I imagine that of the people who were willing to play a solid state amp, most of them went with the XXL because it was three channels. It kind of looked more like a triple X or maybe even kind of a dual rectifier. And that was just more trendy at the time. So these probably didn't sell well for that reason too. And lastly, this amp hit the market right before PV decided to move the bulk of their manufacturing from the factory in Meridian, Mississippi to China. And I imagine they did that to save money. So if they were in this money-saving mood, they probably also decided, you know, this isn't selling quite as well as some of our other amps, so we're probably just going to discontinue it. I don't know if I'm right about any of this. If you know more about the history of this amp, let me know in the comments because I'd love to know more about it. Real quick, before we get into the review and listening to the amp, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. I really appreciate it. Now that that's out of the way, though, Let's get into it. So I'm going to show you all the features of this amp, and then we're going to do a bunch of different tones with it. So let's go. All right, let's take a closer look here. So this amp is essentially a continuation of the Red Stripe TransTube era. So all of the controls are pretty much identical to something like a Red Stripe PV Bandit. We've got our high gain input and low gain input. Then we have our clean channel with controls for volume and a three band EQ with controls for low, mid, and high as well as this two-way switch, and that switches between the two voicings of the clean channel. We've got vintage and modern, and I'll show you both. Next up, we've got our lead channel, and in typical PV fashion, we've got a pre-gain and post-gain control. The pre-gain is where you're gonna dial up the amount of distortion and saturation that you want, and the post-gain is essentially a master volume. So if I crank it up to here and I get the sound that I like, but it's too loud, I can just trim it back with that post-gain. We've also got a three band EQ, just like the clean channel, with controls for low, mid, and high. And then this three way selector switch that goes between the three different voicings on the lead channel. We've got vintage on the bottom, modern in the middle, and high gain at the top. And I will show you all three of those. Next up we have what in my opinion makes this one of the most unique PV amp heads, the fact that it has digital effects built right into it. So first off, we've got this channel select button that switches between our clean channel and our lead channel. You can also use the foot switch, but I unfortunately don't have one. Next, we have this EFX adjust knob. You just use that to dial in the amount of whatever effect you'd like. And if you push that knob in, it switches between the different effects. So we've got a tremolo, a flanger, a phaser, a chorus, a funk wah, an octaver, and a rotary speaker, and I will show you all of those. Next, we've got this knob that controls the digital reverb. Just dial in as much as you like. And lastly, we've got this delay knob that lets us switch between a few different variations. We've got slap, echo, and infinite, and you just kind of dial it up to whatever one you want. And if you want to tap tempo, you just click it twice. And it should not be overlooked that this is one of the last ones that was designed and made in the USA. It's got that nice TransTube logo and a front-facing power switch. Around the back of the amp, we've got our power hookup, a ground lift switch in case you're experiencing some noise or hum. You can switch between positive, neutral, and negative. And we've got the jack for our foot switch. Next up, we've got our damping control. You can choose between loose, medium, and tight. 
And really that just kind of shapes the low end response of the amp. And then we've got this power attenuator down here, which kind of works like the T-Dynamics did on the old Bandits. And we can go from a full 100 watts down to 50 watts and even further down to 25 watts. Then we've got two speaker outputs and this selector where you can choose between 4 ohms, 8 ohms, and 16 ohms. And lastly, we've got a power amp in, a preamp out, and effects return and send, and then this effects level button. When you push the button in, it's at 0 dB, essentially unity. When you push it out, it's like a 10 dB pad for your effects loop. And that's all the features of the amp, so now let's get into some of the tones. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that was the PV TransTube 100 EFX HD and quite possibly the world's most rare PV amp. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more stuff like this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.